Good evening, everybody. It's just Jess and I. We just dropped the boys off at their great grandparents' house for the night, and we are going to a restaurant that we have been wanting to try for a while, and we've never been, and it's been around for quite a while, uh, and it's been in this location for some years now as well. So we're really excited to bring you along with us and uh, what should be a pretty fun night and pretty fun weekend. We have reached our destination. We are out here in Kennesaw. Been out this way plenty of times past Chewy's Mexican food, plenty of times, but we have never eaten here. This is a first, we are really looking forward to it. We've heard really good things. Really excited for the jalapeno ranch. From our favorite foodie. <laughs> and yeah, thank you, Lindy. And look, coming up, 222, and that is on fall break for teachers, folks. Hey now, just saying. Loving the decor, it's very bright. In here, we sat right down, right by the bathrooms, which is always good. We got our chips and some pico salsa here. You can see Tex-Mex, this is what we're dealing with as far as the menu. Also need to correct myself, just pointed out, I said fall break. It's about to be winter break here in February. I'm tired. So soups and salads. You got some big as your face burritos. Might have to do that, I don't know. There's, they've got a lot of good stuff on their menu. The house specialties up here. See, uh, can I can I turn down the King, the Elvis Presley Memorial combo? I mean, a hunk of burning love. I don't know if I can. Thank you. Thank you very much. Fajitas, enchiladas, all these sauces. And for those that know me, I am a sauce snob. Last thing I couldn't show you guys after I was going through the sauces. You've got your kids' meals here, your usual fare. And you got desserts as well here. We got some pico salsa here that's got a little kick to it, just as it's spicy. And then here it is. This is what brought us in the door. Some really, really good jalapeno ranch with our chips. All right, so, so Jess got the appetizer plate as her meal. And this is way more food than she this will ever be able to yeah, so you get a little bit of everything. So, looks tostada. like these are giant nachos, is what I it's think like they tostada, are. It's like a tostada, I think, with okay. um, beans and cheese, queso, chicken quesadilla, and these are like um, They almost taquitos. look like taquitos, yeah. 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 yeah, with sour cream and lettuce somewhere. And jalapenos. Oh, yeah, I don't want those. And then, yours truly, I got the the Elvis Memorial combo. So again, a lot of food. Don't know if I'll be able to eat it all. Rice, rice and beans as a side. Three different kinds of enchiladas and I um, substituted some of the sauce. So this is the chicken enchilada here and I got the boom boom sauce on it, which is their famous sauce that they're known for. And then one of these is beef and one of these is cheese. I believe this is probably the cheese. And I asked for the um, the hotter chili sauce on it. And this, I believe, just has like a Tex-Mex sauce and that's beef. And then mine also came with a couple of those larger tostada nachos with queso and one crispy taco. And that's the King Special, baby, yeah. That's an awful Elvis impression. Awful. All right, surveying the damage. You can see my other plate is gone. It was wiped clean. I am having to throw in the towel though, because I am done. The boom boom sauce here wasn't on my chicken to start with. So once I got it, it was very good. My cheese was pretty good. The beef enchilada I wasn't really a fan of and I think it was the Tex-Mex sauce and not the enchilada or the beef itself because the taco I have is beef and it was really good so 
No, I'm not, I'm not really a red sauce person. The beans were fantastic. Rice was pretty good. You can see I poured the, that boom boom sauce on it. Got more jalapeno ranch. And then this is the damage that Jess did. Very which, little. yep, it's like a bird pecking at food over here. I ate too many chips. But she, she did eat a little bit of everything. What was I your really favorite? Like yeah. You know, the <laughs> beans and cheese. The toast that yeah. that is a Chad type dish. Yep. Right there. So probably gonna get that to go and see if Chad will eat it and They're warm it up in the air fryer. She's also a big uh, fan of this cheese dip, which is different than your normal, you know, usual Mexican cheese dip. Since it's Tex Mex. A whole little memorial that's dedicated to the king over here. All this stuff, fantastic. Didn't get a chance to get all of these uh, shirts that they've got for sale out here. Some of these are pretty tacos to die for. Friends forever. Some of these are pretty, pretty good. Dinosaur is pretty cool. There's Taco Cap. Juan Solo. The Nightmare Before Tex-Mex. And if we are not stuffed enough, we're coming over here to the Peach Cobbler Factory. So for, we're fat and happy yep, before bedtime. For a little dessert. <laughs> yep, we're gonna go into a food coma tonight, folks. Um, we're getting one of these closer to us, but this one's been open a little while. Jess has never had it, I've never had it. So we're continuing that trend of trying stuff and seeing if this is a place that's gonna do us some damage when it comes closer to home. Got your whole Instagram wall here. You can take your picture with the Get Peachy in the background. See very orange peach themed in here. It's one of those cool bike pictures. I wonder if it's one of the collapsible ones. Let me show you guys the menu of it. all the different choices here. Might we just take this with us. Just got just a regular peach cobbler. Called the Peach Cobbler Factory. It is, it is called the Peach Cobbler. <laughs> but I, I got an OG banana pudding shake. I just, I'm a, I'm a milkshake. Yeah, pudding. But plenty of options there. Oh, you didn't get Cinnamon coconut? Cinnamon rolls. I did not get coconut. I thought about getting Butterfinger, but I was like, this is the first That's time. That's Butterfinger, not Butterfinger. I said Butterfinger. You said Butterfinger. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Okay. But I got the OG, so we'll see how it goes. You got cinnamon rolls, and then you got cookies, and these cookies are giant. Look at them. They're huge. Then you've got bigger and better brownies, different kinds of Belgian waffles. This is where we're going to get in trouble. As soon as Ty finds out that he can get churro sticks, he won't even want to dip them in anything. Nope. He'll just want, he may be strawberry, but he, no. yeah, he'll just eat them. And then this is neat. You can get a dessert flight. You can That's get cool. any four cobblers or puddings or probably mix and match if you want to try. Alrighty, folks. This is what we're dealing with. Here's my classic OG banana pudding shake. And Jess with her peach cobbler with some vanilla ice cream. And that apparently is really, really <laughs> hard vanilla ice cream. <laughs> we are back in the car. Got the rest of my shake to go. This is very rich. I need that to be said. It is literally like I am drinking banana pudding. Like, that's what this is. They just put banana pudding in a cup, and I'm drinking it. What do you think it's going to be? I don't know, but it's fantastic. Like, it's, it's the laziest way to ever eat banana pudding, and I'm down with that. Because <laughs> I love milkshakes, and I love banana pudding. And I don't know if there's anything more southern than banana pudding and peach cobbler as desserts. And we got them both. Jess's peach cobbler is down here taking the rest home with us because she couldn't eat it all. But man, we are, we are full. Hey everyone. It is the next morning. Uh, you can tell I need a haircut pretty bad. Um, that food was good. Uh, I'm still stuffed. I can't speak for Jess. You can hear the dogs. They're making their way around everything this morning. They're just excited to be out. 
Um, Jess was kind enough to go pick my dad up this morning and take him to see my mom um, because I'm exhausted. I still did not sleep well, so that's continuing on. Uh, but we've got a pretty fun day ahead of us and hope to bring you along with us. Hey folks, it is a good bit later in the day. Um, what you saw was from first thing this morning, we just had a day around the house. Continue um, straight for 12 minutes. <laughs> GPS, I'll get to that in a second. But we're, we're all gussied up, you can see, we're all dressed up. You'll get a better view in a little bit, I'm sure. Um, but we've got an event tonight. We've got a casino night being provided uh, for the uh, educators within our county. So we're headed to that. We're gonna be fed some food and have some fun and games. Um, but it helps when you know where the event is held and you don't just assume you know where the event is held because we went to the airport. There was nobody there. I don't know why I had it in my head and Jess had it in her head that this was gonna be at the airport. No clue, no clue why, but nope, not at the airport. So we gotta drive about 20, 25 minutes to where we've actually gotta end up. All right, we are here, it is loud. Met up with our lady friends. They're doing pictures. Some things never change as far as girls are concerned. This is, you know, props for the pictures. This is the main entryway. Again, there are games galore everywhere. Got a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff going on. Got a little bit of a Mardi Gras theme. So fun times. Can't wait to get to the food. Got this 360, 360 photo booth. take them anywhere back in the car it was a fun night they had carabas catered a lot of desserts as well uh, we mingled saw a lot of folks we know <laughs> yeah that's sorry yeah that's our sentiment tired that's my bedtime yes very much so and uh played a lot of blackjack tonight that's basically where we just stayed and yours truly did not have much of a winning streak going on uh, but good evening we're gonna go pick the boys up and head home because we've heard from them they're ready to go good morning it's the next day yours truly is still pretty exhausted i don't know what's going on with me but uh kind of a low-key day for us today compared to the rest of this weekend um you know we did go get the boys and by the time that we got them in bed and ourselves in bed. It was a little after midnight. We just hung around the house this morning. Uh, Jess is making a quick run down the road to Costco. She's just getting home right now. And we're about to go see my mom. Um, so we're gonna load up and go see her this afternoon. And then I think we're just gonna chill out here and maybe watch the Super Bowl tonight. We're not really big 49ers or Chiefs fans. Uh, we're not really haters. Uh, of either. I like players on both sides. think I'm going to be pulling for the Chiefs tonight, though, simply because as a Falcons fan, it's hard to root for Kyle Shanahan after 28-3. to uh, Still hold a pretty, pretty big grudge there for the play calling that may have cost us a Super Bowl victory and ultimately made us even more of a laughing stock. So uh, we'll see. We'll get a little Super Bowl spread here. Of food. We'll show you guys that a little later, uh, and that'll probably wrap up our weekend vlog um, this evening. So Jess has already started prepping our Super Bowl food for tonight. You can see we've got our crock pot here with some cocktail weenies and um, the mixture that you see there that they're uh, cooking in is Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce and grape jelly. And it may sound odd, but I promise these things are absolutely delicious. So this is just the first of several, I won't say many, but several little Super Bowl apps that we're going to have this evening. All right, now it's time to start making the other stuff. We got the air fryer out. We moved 
the crock pot over here. It's still got the weenies in it. They're done. They're ready to go. Of course, got some fried dill pickle chips. That's what we're going to be cooking up in the air fryer because, of course, Chad has to have those. Then we've got some boneless buffalo chicken bites. You know, we got I'm a big, big, big bone-in wing guy, but this this will work. This is a little easier. Ty will eat these too. And then we'll show you the rest of the spread that doesn't have to be cooked when we're done with this. All right, we're waiting on the wings to finish cooking. The pickles are done. Here they are. Of course, this is mainly Chad, but we'll, everybody will have some but Ty. Ty doesn't do fried pickles very much. Still need to get some ranch out for it. We've got our dips. Cannot recommend that dip enough. Mexicali dip. It's great. Got a great flavor. Got a Thank great you. kick. Yes. Everybody we know that's ever tried it loves it. Of course, some spinach artichoke dip. We got the French onion. And just got a veggie tray as well here. It's got some meats and cheeses in there the with it. Yeah. We got, of course, the chips to go with the dip, as well as some like cantina chips to go with the Mexicali dip. And then I broke out the spiced apple cider that Chad and I got at Sir Henry's when we went back in December. For those not of y'all right? that know, it is not alcoholic. Um, this is what uh, Chad and I both had this. It was in my drink. Don't think it was in his, but he tried mine, really liked it. So he and I are both looking forward to having this. And uh, Ty is going to try it too. And then this is a cranberry wine. Jess is not a big wine person at all, but uh, she tried this over the holidays and absolutely seasonal only loves it. So, so she's going to have about that. Four bottles. <laughs> About four bottles to make it for the year <laughs> until Christmas. Because it's only seasonal. So so we got that. So now we're, all we're doing is waiting for the chicken to be ready and we'll we'll be good to go. All right, so here is the final spread. This is what we're dealing with. Jess is making some cookies, some chocolate chip cookies, I think, for a little dessert. But my dad sent home some leftover pizza with us that he and the boys had last night when we were out at the casino night. So I'm going to have a slice of that. And we've got those yummy barbecue weenies that just made, the veggie tray, the fried pickles, the chips and dips, and the boneless buffalo chicken. And Chad and I together, just the two of us, you can see Jess's bottle of wine is here. Uh, just Chad and I are uh, down in that spiced apple cider and <laughs> it's yeah just tried it for the first it's very good so uh that's what we're dealing with we'll see what kind of dent we can make in this all righty guys there's dessert some chocolate chip cookies are these like the mini chocolate chip yeah i yep. thought so but yeah yeah we've we've done a number on the rest of the food that's for sure i think there's just a couple, maybe five or six of the boneless wings left, and then there is some of the uh, <laughs> there is some of the weenies left in the crock pot as well. Hey everybody, it's the next morning, rainy, rainy, rainy Monday morning. Um, we stayed up and watched the whole game. Both the boys stayed up with us. Chad really wanted to watch the whole thing. Uh, Ty uh, watched the fourth quarter. Yeah, you know, to the end of the game. So he he wanted to see the end of it, but before that, he really couldn't be bothered with it. Of course, he was doing his own thing. But we all all had a great time. Really enjoyed the game. Really enjoyed a lot of the commercials. Um, very excited for some of these movies to come out. Uh, but everybody in the Coker House is dragging today. I actually feel like I just woke up from a nap instead of a good night's sleep. Uh, but thank you for coming along on this weekend vlog with us. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like down below as it goes a long way to help our channel. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below as well because we love interacting with y'all. And check us out on the other various forms of social media. We've got a Facebook page, an Instagram page uh, that we use primarily and uh, we're also on Twitter, so you can find us all there uh, and keep up with what's going on outside 
of the videos. And if this is your first time to watch a Coker Culture episode, welcome. We love having you. Hope you'll hit, hit that subscribe button and stick around. Until next time, what's your why?